Meanwhile, tens of thousands of people already here in Raleigh for the third edition of this premier musical event. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live for us. And Nick, there is a lot of excitement going into Saturday. <laughs> Oh yeah, Angela, the party started early. There was a, a black party in a portion of downtown Raleigh earlier. Meanwhile, over in Durham, a local marching band is preparing to perform at the festival this weekend. Downtown Raleigh Friday, proving to be a great buildup of what's to come this weekend at the Dreamville Festival. From the live music, to packed stores and restaurants, but roughly 30 minutes away. Um, it's exciting. It's a lot of energy going around. The North Carolina Central University Sound Machine Marching Band is preparing ahead of a special performance. The band will perform Sunday at the Dreamville Festival. It's the second year they've been on the lineup. Arts Closure reached out to us and pretty much just wanted to give us like a, wanted us to give the crowd more like a marching band feel from an experience so we just fill the position. This is the sound machine at last year's festival. Tracy Simpson is a junior and plays clarinet. She remembers what it was like just a year ago, performing in front of thousands in attendance. I almost forgot there was that many people in the world. <laughs> so it was definitely just interesting just seeing like all different types of people, you know, and just seeing them enjoy like what we were bringing. But right now, the focus is getting ready for Sunday. How does it compare to like game day or like any other? About the same, every performance is a performance, so you know, we just need ready. We always want to bring our best selves to practice, like practice how we perform. So it's really been the same thing, just a different goal this time. And Angela, as you can hear, they're ready, but they're also just so excited to be out here this weekend. Yeah, and I hear they represent, you know, like people from all across the United States, even from out of country come here. But Nick, I do have to ask you, because people are wanting to know the bus shuttles because the event's being delayed until 2 o'clock. How is that going to work out? Well, Angela, I, I did reach out to organizers tonight about that. I'm still waiting to hear back, but they did say on social media that they plan to update folks as far as logistics of this festival at 10 a.m. tomorrow. All right, just make sure they have their social media open and ready to go. Nick, start event live for us. Nick, thank you so much. And